Hello everybody and welcome back into Green Hell. Uh, my wrist is feeling better. Uh, I had a little bit of time off to get that feeling much more usable, which it is now. So I've finally been able to get back on to the computer and uh, do some stuff. Now I have been on, obviously not on screen, I have been on and I've played around with this base. And not that it looks like it, it looks exactly the same as it did before, because it is. But what I did is I knocked down parts of the base and rebuilt them in a different configuration and I could not get the two halves of the base to meet anywhere. I would end up with a, a space where a frame would fit, but I kept getting a red frame all the time. I tried it. Uh, I've knocked this base down partially three times now and I couldn't get it to work so I've come to the conclusion that uh, the whole thing needs to be knocked down which is not ideal at all um, I've I tried a, a lot of things to try and get everything to line up and it just wouldn't and it was very reminiscent of the situation at the airfield when I built there. Sorry, I'm dropping the stuff because I'm very weighty. And um, I need to be carrying around some logs. Only a little ways, but I'll need to be carrying logs. Um, yeah, but the situation was very reminiscent of the airfield where that also did not align. Uh, and part of the thing I think here is is where I've started it. I've started it very far back into the wanting to maximise the space. But the problem is, if we go over to the side and have a look, you can see how how slopey this part is, and the fact that. I've had to start building with logs this far back on the base when I've never had to do that before. Um, I've, this um, top path of the base has always been able to be built with bamboo, uh, not logs. So what I'm thinking I'll have to do is knock it all down and restart this maybe one frame like where this frame line is from there and also to tilt the base around more so that this line if you were looking through it you'd actually be able to see the trap through it at the end I think that is a better alignment because this alignment is terrible and it's not allowing me to do anything that I want if I can't get the base to line up so I can walk completely around it, it's it's going to be very difficult to uh, build anything uh, when you can't, you don't have an area that you can walk around in. So that was a very poor um, resource to get back. Um, yeah, so I... I, I just this isn't a feasible base to work on at all now so the only option I've got is to knock it down now I'm not gonna make you watch everything of me knocking this base down but I wanted to let you know what was going on because uh, it's going to you know it's going to hopefully look different enough that it will be workable so we have the added bonus now, of course, of the sustainable logging. So obviously we're losing quite a bit of resources here. But now that I know that our trees will grow back, I'm fine with that. It will be a little bit of a hassle, but just the time of having to re-log again. But in the long run... Oh, what's the point of uh, building a base that you can't utilise? I don't want it the same as the base I had before, but at least the base I had here before, I could walk right around. Uh, and that's all I want. 
Um, I do have some ideas for how I would like the base to look, though. Um, I said I didn't want any cool yards. And... Oops. Shit! Seriously? And I'm still not sure if I want a courtyard on the ground floor, but I've kind of come up with a little bit of an idea that I might, because I wanted to put in a shower on the ground floor, and obviously if you're having a shower, you need to have access to, you know, rain. You can't have a shower underneath a roof, because then you won't fill it with water. So I'm talking about having um, two small courtyards, uh, but, but, but uh, separated by a walkway between each side of the base. No, if that makes sense. Oh, clean. Oh, well, be more clean. Uh, so not one big courtyard, but uh, two small ones. I uh, will see how that goes. But obviously the main thing will be, well, can we get the base to work in the first place? That's the main thing. Uh, let's eat some of this. And this. Uh, how are we going? Nah, I don't think it's worth it. And let's just get that there. Uh, right. So yeah, I say so a bit of a bit of a plan going in my head. So hopefully that one. Now that that break there is how I wish. Oh well, there was an extra bit there. But that is how I wish everyone would go. I don't. You know, it's fair enough to not get all your resources back, but it should be a halfway split. Two logs, two long sticks, two rope. It should be guaranteed that you get half of it back. Because there's been times like, I've got one log, one stick, no rope. I mean, that's, or, you know, variations of that where it's so few. One thing I will say though is that my axe, my axe usage is going up fairly quickly doing this. It doesn't have to be chopping down trees, it's just actually using using the weapon or equipment, whatever, uh, is, is what levels it up. So it'd be interesting to see what that is at now. Let's have a look. Uh, weapons. I'm in the wrong one again. It's this one. Uh, Axe is 73. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's always the same too. It's the axes and the blades get used very quickly. And then once I get them up to 100, um, other than the things you need to use them for, I'll see my archery still weak. I'll then start focusing on the archery and the spear work to... Uh, Oh, another rope. Oh, full of rope. Okay. I did drop some. Yeah, I'll start working on the other two, which are kind of the main ones. So that's the one, the one pity about this location is that there isn't running water to uh, spearfish and stuff like that, where you can build up those skills. So spearfishing, you need to go. Uh, that now you see that is exactly what I was saying about pathetic ones. Maybe that's what I can suggest to the devs. They're very open to to stuff, so um, they they're very uh, you know they take into account lots of people um, ideas and that on um, the discussions on Steam. And I do believe actually they've got a survey up. Uh, from their Twitter Twitter page at the moment. So if there's anything that anybody's interested in putting into the game, uh, go and check out their Twitter page and find the survey link and take it. Is it like what would you like to see in the game? What problems are you having? Or anything like that. Although I did mention the red frame of death happening when there is seemingly no conflicts. 
That's my biggest... That's my biggest problem. This has been very lean. Uh, look, look how many logs we've got here compared to how many we've put down. That's not a lot. I mean, the rope is the least interesting part. So, of course, I've not been in game very long. The other two, three times I've logged in to play around with it. But I did go up the mound, up the ridge over uh, up there where I cut down the last lot of trees. And, of course, they've not grown because it's like only been an in-game day or two. So we need to uh, carry on with it now and see how long it takes for those to regrow. Yeah, it's definitely the alignment of the base is definitely off. I mean, you know, I've said it before in my builds, I like to build big. That's probably a... Look at that. What's that? Three rope on one log. Oh. Yeah, I like to build big. That's possibly a, a down a downside sometimes. Um, I do have a nice little area picked out for a small build, though. Very picturesque. Now that, that's an awesome. Look at that. F all four logs. I don't care if I didn't get rope. I did get rope, but that is the type of one you want. That's much better. Pity they can't all be like that. Now, oh, rope's full again. Okay. Yeah, I have a very pretty, pretty spot picked out for a small base. And, and I don't mind doing that, but I like to do a big one where it... Oh, I still didn't, still didn't drop off the other rope. Uh, I just like to do the big ones so you can plan, plan a bit more and stuff. And I really am looking forward to... I don't know if the next update is aligning with the spirits of Amazonia, but we're supposed to be getting torches... And I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. You know, torches that you can keep. I don't know how long they're staying lit for. Oh, no. oh you're gone again. You're kidding me. It's all right. I don't know how long the torches will be staying lit for, but anything's better than what we've got. I mean, I do mean uh, standing torches, not the ones that we hold. So I'm oh, so looking forward to that because some areas around the map are really good for natural natural lighting during the day and during the night when the moon's out. The fishing camp is a perfect example of that. When the moon's out, which is like nearly all the time, uh, there's a you have a fantastic amount of light that you can build during the night because it is that bright. Uh, but here is one of the locations where nighttime building, that you don't get a lot of the light. Here on the actual, uh, this area, over there you do, but here you're blocked off a bit by when the moon's over here. So having, and then of course, once you've built your base, you've, you're very, it's very dark in certain areas and you can't see so I had to resort to using the uh, the little cheat mode for getting light in my base uh, which I didn't like using and it was quite oh look, see look again oh no this uh, is destroyed why did that destroy the shed at the same time it was not attached to this frame Hmm. That's odd. Oh, we didn't get a lot back then, did we, from a, a frame and a shed? But yeah, lighting is, is something that's uh, desperately needed. So I will look forward to that. And I'm hoping I'll be able to put that in this space. 
I'm hoping that the timing of me getting this base done will match up with the new stuff. And I guess, and I know I've said it before, I desperately want some furniture. Like a crude table and chair. But, you know, it's just something like that. So I've had a... You know how when you, you sit down, oh, you sit down, you lie down and you sleep and you get your energy back. Well, say, I, if you had a chair and you sat down, it could give you a small boost of energy, just a small one. But, you know, if you needed a quick energy fix, uh, you could just have a, you know, sit down for a couple of minutes rather than having to try and find some blue mushrooms or something like that. <coughs> So, a table would be great to be able to put some stuff on. Because, you know, Wilson, for instance, and yeah, I haven't got him yet because I don't want him to uh, roll around when there's nowhere for him to sit. Um, but that I would like, I would like a table to, for Wilson to sit on, for instance. That just not worry about it. Haunted. Uh, let's put these here. Why is it when you drop these, these and these, they drop straight? You drop those sticks and they drop in the completely different direction. Okay. Now, because that partial mud wall there is not complete, I'll actually get that mud back. But the roof that's on there, we will lose all that mud, which I don't think is fair. I don't know why you can't get some mud back. I suppose it is a solid construction once it's finished. So any anything that you make that's mud, like the chests, stuff if you destroy them, uh, that you don't get anything back, which isn't great. But Mud's easy, isn't it? Once you've got your mud mixers done. Mud's easy to make. And I said I wasn't going to do all this on screen, didn't I? But, oh, it's okay. So we're full on rope again. So we've got a little stack here. Um, enough to keep us going for a little bit. I'm hoping that it's going to be more bamboo usage at first. A, because you get three logs so you don't need to make so many trips. And B, pretty much the same thing. The bamboo is just very versatile and I like it a lot. And it's all just in that same location. Oh, in one of my tests uh, when I was knocking the base down, I did go and cut some bamboo down and they do leave do you know, I couldn't remember if they left stumps. It was so ridiculous that I couldn't remember. But they do. So I'm assuming that the bamboo grows back as well. I'm hoping. I am assuming, but I am hoping that it is the same. Okay. Didn't get much bamboo back from that frame, though. Oops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm gonna knock down, I'm gonna knock down the uh, the shed first because I think that if I knock the shed down first, I may get more resources back than if I knock the frame down, and then the the, uh, the shed kind of just disintegrates around it. Because of course the shed can't stand free without the frame, which is. Yeah, that makes sense. So, if I do that first, and then try and hit the frame. Nope. There we go. I think that's it. Doesn't look like it's hitting it, but oh, it's getting fairly late in the day, isn't it? There we go, and we got a rubbish amount of resources back. Is that three sticks and three rope? 
four rope. Okay. That was a nice balancing act, though. I'm getting further and further away. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's get these last two frames down. And then I think... Oh, and another one. Wow. It's a way to go through the... Uh, a way to go through the... Axe is really quick. Wow, I'm actually going through my, my bones as well, finally. Well, that's what they were there for, though, was to make axes. So I say, not only is the my crafting going up from crafting axes, say, but the continued usage of the axe is putting that up as well so it's uh well it's not the ideal way to uh level up your um axe skills that's for sure but at least it does count um i saw there we go all right last one <gasps> and then what i'll do is well we'll have a wash and something to eat. Then try and at least get the first frame lined up. Okay. So we've got a fair bit of rope ready. Um, it's a fairly decent amount of logs, I suppose. Uh, there's not a lot of bamboo, but then there weren't many frames. Was there maybe five, I think, in a shed? Just drop one off. There we go. Yeah, the rope is surprisingly heavy. Ha carrying around, I would suggest, you know, carry around a whole bag of rope because you never know when you're going to need it. But it is surprisingly heavy, so you do need to take that into consideration when you are working uh, because. It can weigh you down, and you'll be wondering, why am I so weighed down? But it is probably your bag full of rope. So I've purposely not been carrying any sticks around either. I think I've got one small stick. Let's see. see how bright that moon is? I mean, it's almost like, you know, daytime. <sighs> All right, let's get you some food. All right, well, we'll have that finally. Get rid of you. And let's pick this meat up. Um, so I can see how long it's... Oh, don't do... Ah, 19. 19. 18. 19. Peccary and tapir. Okay. I'll better eat a piece, hey? <laughs> it might help. Alright, so the time is... Oops. 8 o'clock. Alright. So, we were way too far back here. So what I want to do is I want to line up the... The... Uh, Trap. That's what the word I was going for. You can see there how slopey that is. So let's try and avoid the majority of that slope, I think. So, let's grab a frame. Oh, what the, what the hell is going on here? Uh, wow. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, we, we, oh dude, just stop it. 
Um, all right, that is not working, as you can see plainly. Let's go and have a sleep. And uh, let's let's just sleep on that. I wonder if it's almost like it's it, it's kind of recognizing that there's there was something there. I wonder if I'll need to uh, exit out and come back in and see if it's like a cleared area. Um. So, alright, it's morning. And one of those. Yep, now just grab some water and then see if that situation has changed. I don't see why it would have, but. Alright, let's try again. No. That, that should not be happening, period. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna call it here well this is kind of like a to be continued um, and I will have to load out and load back in and I'll see if it works so yeah um, right I'm going to leave it here now it's uh, Monday for me at the moment so of course Friday is Christmas um, I'm probably not going to, I, I might be able to squeeze another episode in this week, uh, but I can't promise anything. But I'm definitely going to try this now to see whether I can put any frames in here. Otherwise, we've got a massive problem because we have an entirely cleared area that we now can't build in. So, yeah, I mean, look at that. Have you ever seen anything weird like that before? Like, the, it's just like one massive conflict. So, yeah. Alright then. I will get out and I'm going to uh, try that and see if that happens or not. Uh, I might leave a note in the comments of the video to let you know if it did work or not or I could leave it and it could be like a surprise or will it work or not I'm not sure uh, so yes yeah, so I'll possibly be back on this week just because you know holiday time is always busy so for everybody who's having holidays so not just Christmas there's a whole lot of other holidays going on around the world so happy holidays to everybody regardless of what your holiday is. I hope you'll have a great time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to check this out and yep, I might see you, but if not this week, I'll definitely start up again next week. So, uh, thank you all for joining me in this very, very, very odd, odd day in the jungle and I'll catch you all again soon. Bye.